morning YouTube, it's uh, Scotty here. It's been a, been a little while since I've seen you. It's um, half past nine nearly on Saturday. Um, I've grown a beard, as you can see. Um, I've basically uh, been absent without leave through. Um, I had some flu. And uh, we all get flu from time to time. Um, but this uh, this shook me quite a bit. I couldn't. Um, I was as weak as a kitten for over a week. So it meant that uh, I didn't go to work for over a week. Well, for a week, and I didn't um, didn't do an awful lot of anything for a week. The doctor uh, prescribed me to sit at home and watch um, daytime telly, which was uh, interesting. Um, anyway, so yeah, first back, first day back out in the garage for a couple of weeks, and. Uh, I have missed it. It's been um, it's been tough staying away, but I, there's no point. Um, I've got a lot of uh, lucky stuff on my chest. You know what I mean? So it's not worth. Um, I've had uh, bronchitis, so it's not worth getting that again. Anyway, so yeah, the beard there's a bit of silver in it, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, it annoys Mary, so it's staying for a bit. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, Right, so whilst I've been off, we've had some uh, mail call, which is really cool. Um, from Australia. So we can guess who that is. It's, uh, so even the sticker came in upside down. Look. Um, Zig gassed up. He's a. Uh, Anybody who hasn't cut, caught up with his channel, I'm sure you have, but there's anybody who hasn't, he's a, um, fair to say, I think, a, um, a master mechanic down in Australia. Um, can, uh, can fix anyone. He's even sprayed his guitars, so, and he's, uh, he's an all round nice bloke. Thumbs up for Ziggy. Uh, so go and check him out. It's got a lot going on over there. Uh, so he's going up on the wall with my friends. Um, so, um, oh, the other thing you may have noticed is I've, um, I've got a, I've changed my YouTube username to my own name, basically. Um, it YouTube kept asking me three or four times. It said. Um, your uh, it said your username is hard to hard to save. Would you like to change it? And I thought, nah, I won't change it. Um, but it's been mentioned a few times where because um, uh, the name's back, well, the name was backwards on there. It's, it is hard to say, and it's uh, it's hard for me to say. So I decided to just say, sorry, I'm going to go with um, with my own name. There's a reason for doing it the way I did it, and. Uh, I decided to uh, man up and be brave and just get on with it. So, if I get some uh, negative comments because certain people start finding me, well, that's uh, that's just tough luck. I'll have to deal with it. So, anyway, so um, the poor little car here is feeling un unloved and it's still here. Not a lot's changed. I've got um, the only thing I did that I haven't shown you, I don't think, is put the. Um, Electric fuel pump on. Um, don't think I showed you that. Um, pretty much as I left it about two, two, three weeks ago. So I'm keen to get my finger out and get stuck in. So um, this sort of thing bloody annoys me though. The rust coming in. I'm positive that it's uh, next door's tumble dryer now because there isn't. I haven't got. Um, I haven't got any nasties lurking around anywhere so anyway I've got to finish off get the ignition switch in um, get the ignition switch in now and wire it up and uh, I want to get it starting on the key that'll be a bit of a nice little milestone to get um, to get done um, and get it tidied up and get it finished off so uh, what have I bought that you haven't seen yet um, I think you've probably seen these. These are some some old genuine brake pads. There's uh, oh, 
C's. Old piston caliper, caliper pistons. I think you've seen them. There's some caliper seal kits. The calipers are in the uh, over in the um, uh, molasses at the moment, so I'll get them out and wash them off. Uh, we'll get Ziggy up on the board, and um, I'll get back to you in a minute when I've got them done some done some ink. All right, guys, catch up with you a bit. Bye bye. Well, I don't think you guys have been underneath the car with me for a little while, but basically, well, you can see I'm laying underneath the car. You can see the exhaust and the, the engine at the front. This is the back, um, uh, I don't know what you call it really, but anyway, where the back of the seat base is. I've mounted a little dainty um, electric fuel pump, solid state fuel pump there. Um, I'm going to run, uh, I've got a, a roll of um, pipe there, if you can see. So I'm going to run that along the, the original tags that are on the floor pans. Um, nicely not focused anyway. Um, but one of the other little issues I've got to sort out, if you can see, I'm looking along the line of the axle, and where the exhaust goes up over the top of the axle, it's too long. The centre line's there, look. So it's about um, I don't know, three, four inches far, farther too, too far back. So if, um, I'm going to have to cut and shut the uh, the long length and uh, make some alterations to the exhaust. So it's it's, um, it's coming out. It's starting its bend too late, as you can see there for the axle. Um, so yeah, I've got a chance to try out my new little uh, little air um, cutter now. So anyway, so yeah, we're going to get the uh, fuel pipe on um, and run that up through up to the carburetor and uh, see the pipe there hanging down. You see the pipe? That's, um, that's the pipe going into the car right there, so get that um, plumbed in. Anybody got any reason why I shouldn't use um, galvanised pipe on this? Let um, me just uh, steel pipe, but it's galvanised. Um, no idea, I don't think there's any reason why I can't use it for a fuel pipe. The pipe that came off the car was rusty as anything, so I certainly can't use that. I was thinking about using um, plastic pipe, or peat, um, poly, whatever it's called, pipe. But I had this lying around, so I thought I'd uh, use this. This should be okay, shouldn't it? And then we'll uh, so have some little rubber, little short, uh, little rubber shunts to go into the pump. And then we should be laughing, hopefully. Get this exhaust shortened up so it fits properly, and uh, go from there. Well, gents, it's, uh, it's uh, Sunday. It's about ten to six. Um, first time out in the garage. It's ten to six in the evening. Um, First time at the garage today, been to visit my mummy today. Show her my new beard. She wasn't impressed. So I've had pressure on me all day today from my mum and Mary about the beard. I like it, I kind of like it, but yeah, I think it's going to have to go. They're nagging and nagging and nagging, and there's nothing worse than a nagging woman. Well, there probably is lots of things worse than the nagging women, but nagging women's bad enough. Anyway, um, so the latest news: um, what we suffer from on there. This is one of those um, one of those super duper expensive ones, and we're quite warm. It's been it's been all right today. It's been uh, so it's about uh, twelve degrees Celsius, forty three. I don't know, nearly fifty. Fahrenheit, so it's not bad. Um, 
Right, so where do I get to? I've got the um, fuel pumps. Part Let's turn the lights on. Ooh, it's in the dark. Um, fuel pumps pl plumbed in. Uh, the uh, fuel pipes in. So we're right there. We got that. Though. Went to do my little start up, and uh, the wiring is all the all the buggery. So I basically ended up um, getting my meter out and unpicking. I think um, you guys remember me doing this loom. I reckon I've got, either got a wire wrong or um, something odd anyway. So I'm basically going to have to. Um, Basically, because the, neither of the fuses are live, there's no live going to the fuses, so there's a wire wrong somewhere, and it's only in the in here. This um, this circuit here is the ignition light, and that works fine. I've checked it with um, continuity, and the only other thing you do is just basically join the other heavy wires together. Um, but there's something odd somewhere. So whether one of these blacks is supposed to be in in there, I need to check. The problem is, as you can you can tell, and, and you, you've, I've, you know I mentioned it before, there's no colours because it, it's if you can just make out there that cloth is the colour. Of course, it's, it's the cables or the outer is degraded so much that you can't really tell. You can just about make out some colours on some of them. So I'm going to just go back to basics. It's a, it's a, like you see, you can see that is the sum total of all the cables in the in the wiring loom. So I just basically need a, um, a heavy live to go to the battery, which will go to this cable, which I had it, I had put in, but when it's connected, it um, there's no switching. So. So there's a there's a cable wrong. That's why I believe there's a cable wrong in here, basically. So um, the uh, I, the heavy cable from the back of the alternator, I joined another heavy cable um, to give me a my um, enough amperage into the cable from the alternator from, that was originally from the dynamo. So um, I believe that. I did mount the coil yesterday as well, but um, I believe that I've got one of the cables wrong in here. So I'm going to I'm going to cut it and um, just run a um, continuity test from the meter for all the cables and find the find the pesky little rascal that I've got wrong. So with the help of uh, this um, highfalutin um, wiring gauge. Oh wiring diagram so I should be able to find it fairly easy. In the worst case scenario I'll just run some new cables because it literally just needs to needs to have a live to the ignition switch. Um, literally just needs to have a live to the ignition switch um, and a live to either side of that fuse those two fuses and then the uh, the alternator is alive straight to the battery and um, the live through the switch, so uh, through the switch and the warning lamp. So you see the warning lamp there. Pull the cable back. Uh, Twenty-five. So yeah. So one side of it goes direct from the ignition switch from the live, and then the other side. Um, goes into one of the cables that would have been on the voltage regulator um, which is basically goes straight to the all day now so anyway so so you know thoroughly believe that I've got basically one I think I've got got one cable wrong one of those um, one of those cables wrong so it's not anything too exciting um, just want to say I really appreciate um, like I said yes yeah, um, you'll see earlier in this video that um, I was off off sick basically. Um, had the flu and it's um, it was really heartwarming to see that um, you know, some guys decided to uh, take it upon themselves and they, they, they give us enough of a shit about um, their fellow YouTubers that they uh, they give a shit enough to um, PM them and, and um, just check out and make sure you're alive and kicking so I really appreciate that. 
Um, so thank you for for checking up on me. Darren made a comment on one of his videos that um, he hadn't seen a video from me for a while. So um, it's uh, like I say, it's quite heartwarming that um, you guys are tens of up to tens of thousands of miles, away, certainly thousands of miles away. Um, give a shit enough about your your buddies. You just check up on them. So thank you for that. So I'll um, I'm gonna check to see what what I've done wrong with me wiring. And uh, bring you back when I've got that right. And I'll let you know. Cheers, guys. Well, first thing I've discovered is we've got a dead short somewhere. Um, my little beeper doesn't work on my um, meter anymore, but um, basically, whatever I'm connecting onto the little field wire, the little um, um, ignition light wire. And uh, it seems that um, we've got a dead short somewhere. If I um, touch onto that wire that's uh, the other side of the old one, the heavy one. Whoop. Need about 15 hands. We've got a connection there as well, so um, it's got to be in amongst this lot, I think. Uh, so these are the ones uh, that the control box would have been working from before. This cable here is the one that's um, the ignition light switch and uh, continuity is fine through it here but even when you check, check the fuses fuse cabling I've got uh, continuity and everything basically so it's got to be in amongst these three I'd imagine so I'm just going to snip them and I'll find what I've done with my side cutters and uh, see where we go from there because nothing's swept in there the battery's disconnected and the ignition switch is actually the ignition switch is on Let's see if it makes any difference with the ignition switch off so if it stops it now that uh, yeah, should be fairly telling so no we've still got continuity Yeah. Onto the big one. Yeah. About just on earth. Well, we've got a lot of resistance, but we've got a connection. So I think that's what it is. I'll, I'll snip these cables to see what happens anyway. I don't know how it is it? Anyway, see what's going on now. Oh, still got a connection somewhere. Lost the connection through the big main cable, so that's good. One good thing. So I'll um, I'll uh, start connecting cables back and see which ones are which ones the guilty guilty rascal. <laughs> right, so I swap my um, my sides over on the fuses. So I should have a switched fuse and a permanent, permanent live fuse. I'll check that in a minute. And I've got the three cables um, joined back up via a little terminal block, um, you know, a, a bullet, um, bullet connector block. Um, so 
Uh, this one's off. I think I'll put the battery on and just see what happens. If I get loads of smoke, I know it's wrong. <laughs> Not a good sign straight away. Got an oil light on. Ignition is off. So I've still got oh still got something wrong somewhere. No no ignition light. No, so it's still wrong. So maybe I've got uh, I think it, I think the problem lies in these bloody fuses. So the oil light is on, despite the ignition being off, so... Right, so... So that's on the same circuit as the coil and everything, so yeah, it should be switched. Okay, so we're... Uh, just means that I've got another one of these cables around the wrong way on the on the fuse box. Crazy. Okay, so the I've just used these horrible little piggyback um, connectors at the minute. Um, I remember that's the coil wire, isn't it? So that's got to be switched. Uh, right, so I'll just check to see if that oil light's gone out. Which it has. Hopefully it only comes on when... Right, cool. So that's... That's now switching again, so that's good. So hopefully... With a bit of luck, if I've got this right then... Let's put it down there a minute. If I put... This uh, this is a bit of an abusive piggybacks, but it doesn't seem right. Though. It seems like there's too many off of one one fuse. Anyway, I'll put it on anyway. So we'll piggyback this one. Well. Reconnect the Actually, pen broke. Reconnect the alternator back up. Little one on. I have to put the heat on because it's um, suddenly felt the temperature dropping. And I'll check my uh, my Wizzy Fandango thermostat uh, thermometer. It dropped to uh, just above freezing, so right. So, is it? Let's uh, risk the battery cable again. Oh, my goodness, I'm looking where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Scary, there's no smoke, no lights on that shouldn't be on. No, no smoke. Whee! Two lights. Cool. So, hopefully, we've got to the bottom of our problem. Alright, cool. Okay. So, uh, if it's not too late, I'll get some water in the old bugger. Reconnect the, uh, the um, fuel pump, put some uh, petrol for it and see if we get the start on the key, well on the button anyway. So basically all that faffing about, this last hour, two hours, three hours, was down to the um, me putting, uh, so basically down to one of these fuses is switched and one of them is permanent and I had uh, some uh, some cables that should have been switched on the permanent one, but the good thing is I don't know more about my uh, my wiring. 
Anyway, yeah, so we'll get some, uh, get some, um, water in it. Uh, I'm going to have to run the petrol out of a petrol can. At least we can give it a try. Alright, we've got water in the cooler, uh, in the radiator. Ooh, we have a little gurgle. Um, so, we've got, uh, what is it? I've, um, got petrol going in now. You hear that? I thought that it, uh, fuel pumps stopped ticking when they've, uh, when they've got up the pressure. I've got no leaks. I can tell. Or is it overcoming the uh, overcoming the float and pouring it all in the engine? No, I don't know, I think so. Anyway. Just gotta fill up, put some oil in the dash pot, and then we'll give it a try. I suppose have a little bit of oil in there, so we'll, uh, we've got water, we've got petrol. We're all plugged back in. So I just when I've done that, uh, put that oil in. I've, done, I've locked off a load of things because I'm not ready to have um, servo pipes and stuff on yet. But um, I'll just drop a little bit of oil in there and. Uh, Give her a try in a minute. Right, we've got Mary out on uh, in charge of the camera. So, are you Mary? Yeah. Oh. Right and exhaust right in here. Oh, you can get pulled off now. Yeah, That's amazing. The lights, the lights come, come on. on. Just come on now. Which lights come on? Well, ignition. Both. Not the no, lights. Not the lights. Sorry, not the lights.
Gents, it's uh, and ladies, it's uh, just gone no, nearly 10 to 10 on Sunday, so I think that's enough for the day. I'm quite happy with that result. It's um, after fanning about with that uh, wiring, but um, got there in the end, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, I'll catch up with you when I've got uh on another day when I've got some more done and I'll probably not have a beard because Mary's still moaning about the beard <laughs> see you later guys